Now on Coast TV News. Funding fight in Delaware State House race. We hear from both candidates in District 36 over financing in this campaign to represent the Milford area. It's a chilly start with temperatures in the 40s, even some 30s out there. Dress for the chilly weather. We'll see more cold weather the next couple of days and then a warm up into the weekend and beyond. I'll have the details coming up next. Arriving, the recommendation being made to Sussex County property owners who are just weeks away from receiving statements. Savannah roadside scrutiny. It's this area in Lewis where townhomes are proposed to be built. The reaction to the plans after Tuesday's public hearing. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our six o'clock hour. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning. I'm Elisa Weber. Paige Marley has the day off, and thanks for being up with us during our second hour. Yeah, Wednesday, October 16th, 2024. And comets, that fall weather chill, getting yeah. ready for Halloween. We have a lot going on today. A lot of exciting stuff. This is why I like the fall. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to, and then you have the holidays. But we're going to bring in first sort meteorologist Bob Trahe. And Bob, are you enjoying this fall weather that we've been having? I am. I really am. You know, the humidity drops in my house when I turn the heat on, so I'm happy about that. And the colors and pumpkin spice lattes and football and Mets baseball in October. It's all beautiful for the fall. We're looking at chilly weather this morning. Look at this upper 30s from Salisbury to Seaford 37 in Del Mar. Maybe a little touch of frost there. Elsewhere, I think a little too warm for the frost with 40s, 43 in Millsboro and mid 40s at the coast. We've got light winds out of the northwest, but those northwest winds will be persistent all day. We're clear here, but clouds to the south and even some rain around Norfolk and back into North Carolina nice if we got in on some of that, but this system is sliding to our south, so we'll just miss it as we have clear skies over the top of us. Here's future cast. This morning we're in the low 40s, and it's a slow climb with those temperatures with that northwest flow. At noon we're in the mid 50s, close to 60, but a lot of us staying in the 50s by 3:30 with some clouds and still pretty chilly into this evening. And Elisa is a big runner, and the good news is the winds aren't super strong, but a bit of a breeze will keep it a little tougher for runners today. At least it's dry. We're looking at 40s and eventually 50s and mid 50s by noon and close to 60 by mid afternoon. Thanks, Bob. We're checking out the scene this morning in Lewis. You can see some traffic there. This is moments ago at the five points intersection. A lot more going on there than maybe about an hour ago when we yeah. last checked in. You can see the lights along the highway there. Very visible lighting. It's also a focus today in the city. And Lewis officials are attempting to find a balance between safety at night while also limiting light pollution. That can affect the view of the sky. And also... Yeah, tonight the city's planning commission will discuss a light ordinance for businesses. Board lighting is recommended there. Those are lights on top of small posts in the ground. Lighting needs to be dimmed by 50% or turned off entirely between midnight and dawn. And if eventually approved, it would apply to new construction and fall under building permit guidelines. And the Planning Commission could opt to forward its recommendations to the City Council. And also happening today in Lewis, the Planning Commission will discuss changing city code to allow one couple to clean dogs. According to the agenda, officials will consider changing city code in order to allow a dog grooming business in the basement of a couple's home. Currently, dog salons do not follow under home-based businesses in city code. Some neighbors have opposed the change, citing noise and odor concerns. And if approved, the issue would go before the city council. Later today, we should learn the status of the effort to restore internet access at Sussex County Libraries. It was on September 20th. Libraries across the state were hacked. And earlier this month, Delaware Library stated that Wi-Fi and the library catalog are back working. More information is expected when the Sussex County Library Advisory Board meets this morning. And Sussex County has been no stranger to developments in many communities recently. In Lewis, city officials are still accepting comments on a proposal after a public hearing on Tuesday. The Overfall Preserve would be located off of Savannah Road, and this was formerly known as the Warrington property, and city documents show if approved, this land will hold 90 townhouses with a pool and a connection to the bike trail. John Roland Garner lives right next to the property and is a part of the Warrington family. I'm, I'm not happy about the building up, growing up around Sussex County, and I always said if I had anything to do with this property, it wouldn't be single family housing, you know, but it didn't work out that way. Open space, I like open space. 
No official action was taken at that meeting, but people can submit any comments regarding this proposal online. If approved, this project would be right next to Dutchman's Harvest, and that development just broke ground. This one aims to provide options for the local workforce. Dutchman's Harvest will consist of 40 units, 98 priced below market rates, 42 units designated for families earning 65% or less of the area median income, and families are expected to move in there by early 2025. This is now going to bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what type of housing is needed the most on the coast. So here are your updated results. Most of you, 72% of you, in fact, say no more housing, 20% voting for affordable homes. Then we have a couple votes for the other categories, senior housing, townhouses, and single family homes. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttv.com or on our mobile app. This morning, a 39-year-old man from Fort Washington, Maryland, facing two felony charges after police chased Sunday night in Rehoboth Beach. Here's what happened. According to Delaware State Police, Kevin Graves was pulled over on Coastal Highway because he was driving without his headlights on. And then when the trooper returned to his patrol vehicle for a moment, Graves sped away, which then led to the chase. It's a chase that eventually had a crash into four vehicles. An 18-year-old woman was injured and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Graves tried to run away from the crash, but was caught and committed to Sussex Correctional Institution. And if you've been anxiously awaiting your property reassessment results in Sussex County, well, listen up. The county says tentative property assessments will start going out to homeowners starting in mid-November. And county officials are urging everyone to review theirs carefully and contact Kyler Technologies if something seems off. And this is a complicated story. We have been covering it for months. And for more information about the reassessment, head to CoastTV.com. An update on a story that we've been covering in the last month's Delaware Republican primary for the State House 36th District race. Coming Brian Shoup defeated challenger Patrick Smith by just 12 votes. And the winner will represent Milford in the entire 36th district, and Brian Shoup has held this seat since 2018. Campaign financing was an issue there, and it's now leaking into the general election. Shoup claims his Democratic opponent, Ronnie Baltazar Lopez, is funded by developers who, quote, exploit residents. Baltazar Lopez and Shoup share their views on this exclusive with Coast TV. The importance of that is these developers have a history of abusing and threatening our neighbors here at home. So for my opponent to take money from them, they've maxed out to him, and for them to give him advice should be a warning to people. My response to Representative Shoup is to, that he needs to have a conversation with the Fannins and the developers that he's accusing. I've had those conversations and I've made it clear to them that my vote, um, if I am to be elected, is not to be bought. I am uh, raising solely on their funds and that's uh, beyond the far truth. And I invite people to look at my campaign finance reports, which are all public. And early voting starts in Delaware on October 25th. For mail-in ballots, all those must be received by November 1st. With less than three weeks to Election Day, early voting now underway in many states, including Virginia and Georgia, where former President Trump spoke to voters on Tuesday. And NBC's Alice Barr shows us how both candidates are now focusing on swing states and undecided voters in the final push for the presidency. <laughs> Early voting is underway in Battleground, Georgia, and day one offered a snapshot of how eager voters are to have their say. Anxious to, 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 to do their duty, to do their, to do their duty and, and, and vote. Georgia election officials say a record shattering more than 300,000 people cast ballots Tuesday, and a new NBC News poll finds half of Americans plan to vote early or already have. Former President Trump, who in the past has railed against early and mail-in voting, now urging his supporters to join in. As soon as you can, go to the polls and vote. This couple heeding the call. I think we are having an existential crisis. Others motivated to cast their ballots for Vice President Harris. We need a new date. We need something special. While rallying in Georgia Tuesday, the former president addressed black and Hispanic voters where polls show him making gains. Any African American or Hispanic, and you know how well I'm doing there, that votes for Kamala, 
you got to have your head examined. Vice President Harris said a radio town hall in Detroit hosted by Charlemagne the God urged people skeptical of her to ask Donald Trump what his plan is for black America while noting my agenda is about tapping into the ambitions and the aspirations knowing that folks want to have an opportunity if they want they should have a meaningful opportunity to build wealth including intergenerational wealth the nominees stepping up their outreach as voters begin heading to the polls in washington alice barr nbc news we're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. Coming up, celebrating Hispanic heritage, we'll show you some of the festivities in Milford and why the event means so much to students there. And also the Blood Bank of Delmarva is issuing an urgent plea for donations. We'll tell you how the organization is making donating easy for those along the coast. And house explosion escape. What led to this scene in Virginia and the warning two families received that got them out of the house in time all that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. We know Angela also Brooks got caught taking illegal tax breaks, owing $59,000 in back taxes. And she's now getting a deal. No penalties and a 25% reduction in interest. Now the New York Times reports also Brooks lied on official mortgage documents and also Brooks was sued twice for not paying her bills. Thousands in water, sewer, and other expenses. What scandal will they report next? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. We're looking for our first house. We're growing a family. The Parker Group and our realtor, Jen, they were great. Um, helped us get our first home. That was a very smooth, easy process, especially for our first time. Family expanded a little bit more. We went right to the Parker Group because how easy it was the first time. And before we knew it, here we are in our next home and we love it. Our experience with the Parker Group was seamless. Our realtor and the Parker Group was almost like a family in a way. They were there for us when we needed them. That was a big thing. 100% we would go with the Parker Group again. Are damaged and outdated showers and tubs hurting your rental property or hotel bookings? Repair and reglaze them for less. Call Hurl's Bath Repair for a free estimate. See the beauty of Delmarva from a bird's eye view. Soaring over the shore, Mondays on Coast TV News at 6. Sponsored by Morse Roofing and Siding. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app with live satellite and radar, severe weather alerts, and extended forecast. Sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodel. Just about 614 on this chilly Wednesday morning. HSB cam 48 in Cambridge right now. A chilly northwest wind, but inland areas are cold. Just check my home in Millsboro. We're down to 37 there. 37 in Delmar, 40 in Georgetown. So maybe a little touch of frost inland areas and then along the beaches. We're frost free. We're in the mid 40s there. We have a light wind now and we've got mainly clear skies. We've got clouds and actually some showers to the south with low pressure now moving off the Carolina coast. They're seeing rain across North Carolina. Unfortunately, this system slides to our south and we stay dry. So the kiddos don't need the rain gear off to school. Just need to bundle up 41. It's a cold start for sure. And then heading home still pretty chilly, breezy as well, mostly sunny and 59. 22 families still recovering after a Tuesday night house explosion in Haymark, Virginia. Here is the fire. You can see the damage in the home after the explosion. This all started when a contractor was working on a water main break and it hit a gas line. There was enough warning to get the families out of the house while the gas was leaking. Haymarket, that is southwest of Washington, D.C. It's in Prince George's County. The explosion occurred just after 530 last night and fire crews were reported to be on the scene there for at least five hours working to put out the fire. No injuries are being reported at this time, but three pets belonging to the families are missing. After a last minute pause earlier this month, Rehoboth Beach officials say the long awaited Rehoboth Avenue paving project is back on. The repaving was originally paused due to Del Dot budget cuts, but the city says that crews will work on milling and paving this fall following the annual Sea Witch Festival. 
Dell dot contractor Adel is currently working on curbing and concrete on medians along Rehoboth Avenue. This morning, Delaware State Police will continue investigating the cause of a school bus crash Tuesday morning. According to state police, this happened at the corner of Savannah Road and West Coach Road. The Lewis Volunteer Fire Company was called out just after 3 a.m. and officials say there were no injuries. The Federal Aviation Administration is auditing the potential for near collisions at 45 of the busiest airports in the U.S. And according to the agency, if to identify, quote, potential gaps in procedures, equipment, processes, and recommendations to improve safety. The FAA says overall these events are significantly down, but even one incident is one too many. And the holiday season is upon us, and here's what retailers can expect from holiday shoppers, according to Deloitte's Holiday Retail Survey. Consumers surveyed plan to spend on an average of $1,778, and the average number of gifts purchased this year will be 9 versus 8 in 2023. Consumers indicated they will spend less on traditional gifts and more on experiences. And still ahead, Lending a Helping Hand will show you the overwhelming response in Fenwick Island to help those in need after hurricanes displaced thousands. And still pretty dark out there on this Wednesday morning. Sun's up in a little less than an hour. A little breezy in Lewis, keeping your temperatures in the mid-40s, but 30s inland. It's a cold start. We've got a couple of more chilly days on the way. Then a warm-up into the weekend and even warmer into next week. Your forecast details coming up in two minutes. Stay tuned. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Welcome to Your Space Storage at Bayside. Proudly serving the beach with a unique redesigned storage experience. Enjoy our fully enclosed loading area, 24-7 access, climate controlled units, and a revolutionary self-serve kiosk where you can check in and load in anytime, day or night. Visit us at storeatbayside.com to get your first full month free and lock in your rate for one full year with our Your Price Guarantee. Your Space Storage, conveniently located just two and a half miles from the Fenwick Harris Teeter. Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get a plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR it starts with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Spare me steamer, it's your home cleaner. Right now, pet dander. Skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Steamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Time is 619 and you are looking live at Lewis. This is near the Roosevelt Inlet and you can see on the left of your screen the breeze this morning. Bob, we're tracking breeze. We're also tracking temperatures below 40. Mm -hmm. Could see some frost there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I just checked my home station in Millsboro. 37 there and you start getting in that range around 36, 37. You start seeing a little frost on the cars, uh, grassy surfaces and it's a light frost but definitely could be a little frosty inland areas. So hopefully you took precautions to save your tender plants. 38 Salisbury, 36 Delmar, 40 in Georgetown, 40 in Milton right now and mid 40s at the beaches with a little bit of a breeze. 
degrees. I think we could see another touch of frost tomorrow morning. Depends on cloud cover and wind. Right now we're thinking unlikely, but that's our best chance. And then I think we're out of the woods as far as that frost end of the weekend, end of the weekend to the weekend. Five day temperature trend, average high now 69, way below that the next couple of days with lower 60s. 67 on Friday, still below average there. Then we finally get above average for the weekend. Seems like the weekends have been warmer lately and this one no exception. 70 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday. Winds right now are calm inland. That's why it's so chilly there and a little bit of a breeze at the coast as we're looking at mainly clear skies right now. But there are clouds to the south, southern tip of Delmarva and we get into Norfolk and North Carolina and we're talking about some rain showers here as we have low pressure off the Carolina coast and that's scooting to the east. It's not moving north. So uh, all this activity will be sliding to our south. We really do need the rain, but I don't think we're going to see it. We have high pressure building in behind this system and that will bring more chilly air into the end of the week. Here's future cast this morning, lower 40s, breezy conditions by mid morning. We're still in the 40s and by noon only into the mid 50s and then maybe 60 around long neck around 330. But we have a northwest wind and clouds making it feel even chillier and then a chilly evening on the way and then by midnight 40s and 50s and we could see clouds in the morning and a breezy situation if that's the case temperatures are in the 40s and 50s if it does clear out a little bit it's colder with that chance of frost could go either way and then mid morning we have the clouds and then we clear it out into Thursday afternoon and highs only in the lower 60s once again another chilly start on your Friday morning well down into the 40s a little warmer Friday afternoon into the upper 60s and looking cool for Friday night lights. We're seeing the winds out of the northwest pretty gusty at times the next couple of days, especially at the beaches and then moving into Thursday and northerly winds still pretty persistent, keeping the chill going and that chilly weather will start to move out as we go into the end of the week and then you see the warmer colors building in Friday into the weekend. We warm it up into the weekend and it gets even warmer as we go into early next week. Paul Day of a seven day forecast, very chilly the next couple of days, maybe a touch of frost tonight and then we're looking at 67 on Friday, warmer for the weekend, 70s Saturday, mid 70s Sunday, then sunshine and upper 70s Monday and Tuesday. Bob, people in the Treasure Beach campground near Fenwick Island are preparing to send donations to those in need, all going to places hit hard by Hurricane Helene. Over the past week, clothing, cleaning supplies, food, and other items all boxed up and shipped to areas where Hurricane Helene hit. And one volunteer was touched by all that she has seen this week. The whole community actually has stepped up here to uh, to really donate a lot to the to the flood victims. So we all want to work together to help the people that need help right now. And batteries, headlamps, caution tape, still some of the supplies in need. To learn how you can help, visit coasttv.com. And another organization is preparing to send donations is the Blood Bank of Delmarva. It's stated the Art Portable Blood Donation Station will be outside of the Tanger Outlets. This is happening now until October 24th, and the Blood Bank of Delmarva is collecting donations for hurricane relief. The Blood Bank has issued an urgent appeal for donations to ensure that those hard-hit areas of the country are covered. Up next, celebrating Hispanic Heritage at the Milford School District, the big event that took place there. Coast TV News Today will be right back. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. Welcome to Farmhouse Pet Lodge, your pet's home away from home. Our state-of-the-art secure lodge offers exceptional care for dogs, cats, and other pets. For daycare or boarding with private suites, custom food prep, UV air filtration, centralized disinfection, and 24-7 care, your pet will be safe, healthy, and happy. Book now and get 10% off your first stay. Ask about our grooming services and tailored training programs. Give your furry friends an amenity-filled vacation at our family-owned, conveniently located Farmhouse Pet Lodge. If you know a high school student on Delmarva with a passion for agriculture or the culinary arts, nominate them to become a WBOC Mount Air Farm to Table Scholarship winner. The people who grow and prepare our food are more important than ever. We are looking for 10 graduating seniors with a passion for feeding the world like we do at Mount Air Farms. Nominees must have a 3.5 GPA or better, be an active participant in farming or culinary programs, and spend time giving back to the community. Go to WBOC.com to nominate today. Design a custom home that fits your unique style and budget with accessible home builders. 
At Accessible, we provide you with a variety of customizable options to create the home of your dreams. Accessible Builders provided us with a beautiful home. Scott is full of ideas from his past experiences, and he really worked with us on all our custom asks and wants. We would definitely recommend Accessible Builders. Completely customize your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. Has your kitchen remodel been on the back burner? Move it forward now and take advantage of our biggest kitchen sale of the year. Paul Davis can restyle your kitchen for half the cost of a traditional kitchen remodel. Get all new doors, drawers, and hardware without any major demolition. And the best part is it's done in as little as three days. We'll bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow and give you an estimate that day. Call now to get $1,500 off plus free hardware and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Call Paul Davis. The restoration and remodeling expert. Lulu Ross Elementary School in Milford held its Hispanic Heritage Month Parade on Tuesday afternoon. And on your screen, you can see over 200 Spanish language immersion program students with their teachers. The parade was a school-wide event, and students walked through different hallways wearing clothes from various countries, holding flags, and playing musical instruments. I was really excited. I've been looking forward to this day because I just love just being, you know, like walking down the hallways and everyone just shouting like, hooray, and I just really like that. And this is the second year the Milford School District has held this celebration to honor Hispanic Heritage Month, and the hope is to continue doing it for many years to come. First alert meteorologist Bob Trahe back with us. If you like those morning walks along the beach, Oof. I'm going to play the bundle yeah, up card. Yeah, I think the wind, the wind's going to be a little rough. Might want to wear sunglasses too to block the wind. Cause Protect your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be rough out there, Bob. Still need the sunscreen too, believe it or not. Yes, yep, yep. UV index is moderate at the beaches, so breezy cold. Bundle up. It's in the 40s early on for Chincoteague and Assateague, and you're warming through the 50s, close to 60 later. This afternoon, maybe a few clouds later in the day. Waves around two to four feet. Fenwick Island and Ocean City, chilly start, then warming through the 50s, close to 60, but I think we will see a lot of afternoon sunshine. On the bay side, the next three days, it's chilly, lower 60s today and tomorrow in Cambridge, but warmer Friday, 67, and then only upper 50s today and tomorrow, Crisfield, and then mid 60s Friday, even warmer for the weekend and beyond, but it stays dry as well. Much more on your forecast in the next half hour. Break on Coast TV News today. More food for Milton. We'll tell you how locals are reacting to the possibility of another fast food restaurant in the town before the first one is even finished with construction. Also, internet interruption. The progress being made in Delaware libraries after many were hacked. Dimming the lights in Lewis. We'll tell you how the city says it plans to tackle light pollution at a meeting tonight. Coast TV News today. We'll be right back. Get ready, Delmarva. Excitement and incredible savings have arrived at Gateway Subaru. Save up to $3,200 on a new 2025 Subaru Outback with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. Or save up to $2,300 off a new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. And be among the first to drive the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Stop in and reserve yours today. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Turn your home into a masterpiece with Artwork Painting. Local professional painters at an affordable price. Artwork Painting did an excellent job with our house. We were really happy with all of the pieces of work they did, uh, the drywall work, the walls, the trim. I would definitely recommend Artwork Painting for your house. Artwork Painting treats our customers and their homes with care, delivering quality work and experiences. Call Artwork Painting now for a free same-day estimate. Artwork Painting, keeping Southern Delaware beautiful inside and out. For a great shopping experience, Furniture Gallery is the place to pick up one-of-a-kind signature finds to complete your home decor. Come explore our selection of handcrafted furniture and get all the supplies you need for your own DIY projects. And through the doors is Shaw Marketplace where you'll find the most unique local shops at the beach. With over 40 local artisans, Shaw Marketplace is truly a local connection you cannot afford to miss. And next door you'll find Scrub Apparel Outlets. All this under one roof with easy access off Coastal Highway North. Calling all comic collectors, anime lovers, gamers, and pop culture fans. Make your way to Ocean City Comic Con December 14th and 15th at the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. Featuring over 200 vendors, artists, and special guests. Plus take a pic with your favorite comic book hero, take part in the costume contest, and so much more. Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday 11 to 4. 
Tickets start at $10 with discounts in costume or donating a non-perishable food item. For more info, go to OceanCityComicCon.com. Now on Coast TV News. Property price preview. What Sussex County officials are recommending ahead of distributing reassessment results. It's a chilly start. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Maybe a touch of frost this morning inland. Dressed for the chilly weather. We'll see more cold weather the next couple of days. Then a warm up into the weekend. I'll have the details coming up next. And a coffee chain could be moving to Milton. The action taken Tuesday night by town planning and commissioners on a proposed Dunkin' Donuts. Library ransomware reports after dealing with this issue for weeks in Sussex County where the effort stands and getting internet systems up and running again. This is Coast TV News Today. October 16th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Elisa. Good morning, Matt. I'm Elisa Weber. Thanks for being up with us. The time is 631. We're making our way on a hump day Wednesday. I needed extra coffee this morning. Do you? I did, yeah. You seem so perky coming. I know. Well, I'm kind of faking my smile because Cleveland and the Yankees, it's been a stressful time. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and I'm from an area of Yankees fans, mm -hmm. so it's been difficult, but we're going to bring I'm sure there are Yankee fans out there that don't share that <laughs> no, sentiment. No, I know, and we're going to bring in first third meteorologist Bob Trahey, who, I, I mean, he's doing a little bit better than I am at this point with the Mets. You know, at least you've got one win so far. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. They're right in that series, and uh, I'm with you, too. And I'm not a big Yankee fan either, at least. <laughs> Truth be told, we are looking at maybe some patchy frost inland areas this morning. Just check my home station, 37 degrees in Millsboro, 36 in Del Mar, 38 in Seaford and Salisbury. So a touch of frost maybe on the cars, on the grassy surfaces as well. A little warmer at the beaches, mid 40s, so no frost there. Calm winds inland, a little breeze at the coast. It's chilly. You can see the white shading on the satellite picture. Even some clouds and showers to the south into Norfolk and back into North Carolina. They are getting showers. It would be great if we could move the system farther north, but we're not going to see the rain, unfortunately as the system is sliding pretty much due east. We're going to be mainly clear this morning and chilly. Make sure you have that ice scraper handy just in case. Warming through the 40s slowly through mid-morning and then by noon we're into the mid-50s. Sunshine but a chilly northwest wind and maybe some afternoon clouds and with that northwest wind it's going to be chilly. 50s to around 60 in Long Neck, Salisbury and 57 Fenwick Island and yeah still chilly into this evening. Today's checklist green check marks everywhere. Hat and gloves that's optional. You know, some people do that when it's uh, in the 30s and 40s. Sweaters, heavy jacket, warm beverage, cup of coffee, pumpkin spice latte. Make sure you have the sunscreen and have your sunglasses handy. There will be a lot of sun today. A green check marks Bob. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, thank you. We have developing news in Lewis. That's where officials are attempting to find a balance between safety at night while limiting light pollution that can affect the view of the sky. And tonight, the city's planning commission will discuss a light ordinance for businesses. Bullard lighting is recommended, and those are lights that sit on top of a small post in the ground. And lighting needs to be dimmed by 50% or turned off entirely between midnight and dawn. If all this is eventually approved, this would apply to new construction, and it would fall under building permit guidelines. The planning commission could opt to for these recommendations to city council. And happening today, we should learn the status of the effort to restore internet access at Sussex County Libraries. It was on September 20th that libraries across the state were hacked. And earlier this month, Delaware Library stated that Wi-Fi and the library catalog are back working. More information is expected when the Sussex County Library Advisory Board meets this morning. More food option in Milton. The Town's Planning and Zoning Commission is considering a proposal from Dunkin' Donuts. And as Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us, it could change up the vibe of the town. America runs on Dunkin', and now the question is, will Milton? Uh, basically, what we're here to propose or to show you is our concept plans for a new Dunkin' Donuts store. A concept plan for a new Dunkin' location was pitched to the Milton Planning and Zoning Commission meeting Tuesday. The new site is located at 403 Broadkill Road near Cypress Grove. And Duncan representative Andy Warfield is making his case. We're, we're a local franchise. We're out of Ocean City, so we have most of the stores on the Eastern Shore. Milton's always kind of been on our list of places to get to. It's really growing. Seems like a good town. Um, we just want to add to that. One part of the plan that has been revealed so far is a drive through We're a quick process. You get in, get out, get to work, get to school, wherever you're going. Jonathan Downing lives in Milton and he is on board with the idea. 
I think that's a good idea. I think Milton need to put a couple more little businesses in, uh, stick in a bunch of housing, give people other places to go. An early version of the Duncan plan was approved Tuesday, but don't expect to be dipping your pastries just yet. Next stop, review by the full town council for further consideration. If this project ultimately does get the green light, it will join the new McDonald's, which is currently under construction, as a new addition to a place known more for its old-fashioned feel. As the plan for this new Duncan location is still in its very early stages, it might be some time before this whole plan comes to life. But when it does, we might see some mixed opinions from the public. In Milton, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News. If you've been anxiously awaiting your property reassessment results in Cut Sussex County, well, listen up. The county says tentative property assessments will start going out to homeowners starting in mid-November. And county officials are urging everyone to review theirs carefully and contact Tyler Technologies if something seems off. This is a complicated story and we have been covering it for months. And for more information about the reassessment process, head over to coasttv.com. More news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, a new senior activity center is open in Georgetown for Spanish-speaking adults. We'll tell you why one person says the grand opening fueled excitement for this new resource. Also, Seahawks showdown the big quarter in the matchup between Stephen Decatur and Sussex Academy. And preparing to honor a beloved former Lewis mayor, we'll give you the new details on when a ceremony will take place in remembrance of Mayor Ted Becker. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. We salute Kayla Hovatter. Serving with the Maryland National Guard since February 2018, she has exemplified the highest standards of the military police. Her commitment to duty and dedication to safeguarding her community and fellow service members showcases the core values of the National Guard. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. In 2019, two visionaries banded together behind a restaurant to create the ultimate pizza, starting from scratch, just like our dough. At the Dough Bar, everything is a season for a reason. From our gourmet specialty pizzas to our signature sandwiches and mouth-watering entrees, we use high-quality ingredients for a freshness you'll crave. Enjoy our specialty cocktails with 16 craft brews on tap, or toast your own s'mores tableside by the water. Order online or visit the Dough Bar, Milton, Delaware's hidden gem. Get ready for the spookiest night of the year. Milton Zombie Fest is creeping up on October 19th starting at 4 p.m. in downtown Milton. It's a haunted Mardi Gras like you've never seen before. Bring the whole family for bone-chilling fun with live music, freak shows, food trucks, costume contests, and a laser light show that'll leave you screaming for more. Admission is free, so come join the undead for a night you won't forget. For more info, visit MiltonTheater.com. Sponsored by Coast TV. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. My impact matters at Life Synergy Wellness Center. I can see that. We believe in providing our communities with services and spaces that support individualized recovery and fosters hope in all areas of wellness. We're hiring behavioral health professionals and administrative support staff. We offer paid professional development training, hybrid and flexible scheduling, and supervision hours. Juntos podemos crear una comunidad de apoyo y resiliencia. Your impact matters. Fly online today. It is 6.39 on this cold Wednesday morning. Sun's up in about a half hour. Look at that eastern sky in Laurel with some clouds on the horizon, but 36. I think we're seeing a touch of frost inland areas into the mid to upper 30s from Salisbury to Seaford, red in 34. 39 in Ocean Pines and mid-40s at the beaches. Leave extra time to warm up the car this morning. Light winds inland, a little bit of a breeze at the coast. We've got clear skies here, but clouds and even some showers well to the south across North Carolina. This system will miss us to the south today. If you're headed out to the golf course, you hardy folks at Golf in October, we're looking at pretty good conditions today. 
but still quite chilly and breezy right around 60 degrees. And our umbrella winner today, in case you missed it earlier, is Honoré Hastings from Ocean View. Congratulations, Honoré, on your brand new umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV. An update on the passing of former Lewis Mayor Ted Becker. There will be a service in celebration of life. This will be on October 26. We now know the ceremony will be at 11 a.m. at the Lewis Canal Front Park. Becker's burial this week will be private. Milton has added stop signs to one bad intersection, and the new signs are located at the corner of Atlantic, Chestnut, and Wharton Street. And the town says that previously the intersection was only a two-way stop with drivers on Chestnut Street going through it without stopping. Now that intersection is a four-way stop and one Milton local who lives just a few houses from the corner feels this will help prevent a lot of accidents. We have wanted it for a long time. We often sit on the front porch and we see so many accidents and near misses at that intersection. So many people assume it already is a four-way stop. So they stop, but then they go right in front of the other car. And at the end of June, a four-way stop was put in at the intersection of Harbison Road and Chestnut Street. And happening now, Delaware is under a burn ban, and this is due to the entire state being entirely dry, causing a fire hazard. The burn ban prohibits bonfires, fires for land cleanings, agricultural burning, and outdoor rubbish fires. There will be criminal penalties if there are violations. Coming up today on the Delmarva Sports Network, the game of the night, Bayside Conference Boys Soccer. That's when Colonel Richardson takes on North Carolina at 5.30. At 10, it's Pocomoke Field Hockey, the Susan Pusey story, and that's followed by the final score. And then over on DSM Plus, 3.30, Easy Act Boys Soccer, Salisbury School and Delmarva Christian. Came, South Dorchester will play North Dorchester in girls soccer. And also at that time, you can watch Worcester Prep and Salisbury Christian in boys soccer. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning, sports fans. Stephen Decatur Field Hockey trying to build on its seven game winning streak last night on the road against eight and three Sussex Academy. Highlights from Georgetown now in a cross conference matchup, and the Seahawks have a penalty stroke. Ryan Lowe goes low to put Sussex Academy ahead, one nothing. Later on in the corner, it would be Rylan Lehman driving down the field. And she reverses one high, and Shay Donahue knocks it down and into the net. An impressive connection gives the Seahawks a 2 to nothing lead. Still 2 nothing with the quarter winding down. A give-and-go leads to a quick shot, a scrum at the goal line, and Lehman smashes home the final blow. It's a 3 nothing Seahawks lead after the first frame. More of the same in the second quarter. Linda Warner with a beautiful feed in front, and... Danahe adds on her second of the evening. She only had three goals the entire season coming in, and she nearly matches that total in one game. It's now 4 nothing Seahawks. A couple minutes later, Lehman reaches the circle and says, why not let it fly? Reverses a bouncing ball home to extend the lead to five. On to the fourth quarter in this matchup. Same score and same results for Sussex Academy. Lehman adds on another to clinch a 6 to nothing victory for Sussex Academy. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. A reminder, we have the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. We support charities who handpick families in need, and they ensure every child gets a gift to open Christmas morning. And right now, we are looking for those charities. We are accepting applications from those nonprofits through October 18th. We're seeing just a few clouds right now on the gutter helmet cam, otherwise blue skies, 43 in Ocean View, but inland 30s and probably a touch of frost well inland. We do have a couple more chilly days on the way, then a warm up into the weekend, even warmer next week. Your forecast details coming up in two minutes. Listen to Big 1077 Delmarva's Classic Rock Station. I'm on the edge and I'm fighting for my life. We're going in. We need restraint, not revenge. Being able to help, you do a lot of good. Chicago Wednesday, tonight on NBC and Peacock. NYPD! I'm listening. I'm not ratting out a friend of mine. I want to get these guys. Divide and conquer? Law and Order Thursday on NBC and Peacock. Turn your dreams of a perfect kitchen into reality with that cabinet store where a dedicated team of designers will bring your vision to life. 
Whether it's traditional or European, kitchen design is our specialty. And we can get your fully customized kitchen cabinets installed in as little as four weeks, semi-custom in 10 days. And if you're looking for new countertops, we offer quality in-house fabricated countertops. Dream today, designs for tomorrow at That Cabinet Store. Located with Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. With more than 25 years of surgical expertise, Dr. Julie Berry is now accepting new patients at Tidal Health Ear, Nose, and Throat Surgery. Dr. Berry offers specialized care for a wide range of general ear, nose, and throat disorders. Whether you're dealing with chronic sinus issues or require advanced surgical intervention, Dr. Berry is here to provide expert care tailored to your specific needs. Discover the difference that expert care can make. Schedule your appointment today. 877-CALL-FUR-FHFUR.COM as temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming, our Fall into Comfort toy drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.COM. The time is now 646 and we're going to take a live look outside into Laurel this morning. And Bob, that is a beautiful sunrise there and it's been cold here, but it's also been dry, which I'm not a fan of rain, but we do need some rain. Yeah, you know, after a while, you know, it's nice to see the nice weather, so to speak, Elisa, but it's also nice to see the rain, which we have not seen in weeks. In fact, measurable rain in Georgetown, the last day of one inch rain over a half an inch, that was on September 9th. So that was, what, five weeks ago? So it's very, very dry, and we need the rain. Unfortunately, no rain on the way. That's why it's best not to burn until we get some appreciable rain. We are looking at temperatures that are chilly, maybe a touch of frost inland areas right now, 34 in Redden, 38 Seaford, 35 in Delmar, 38 Salisbury. I checked my home station in Millsboro. It was about 37, 38 degrees. So getting cold enough for a little frost, especially on the cars and on the grassy surfaces. And then we're looking at mid 40s at the beaches, not seeing frost there. We have another chance tonight if the clouds are thin, we see clear skies and the winds are light. So just to err on the side of caution, cover or bringing the plants into Thursday morning. Then we're okay after that Friday and into the weekend as it does does warm up. Lower 60s for highs today and tomorrow. Average high is 69, 67 on Friday, 70 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday. So nice pattern for the weekends. It's beginning to warm up, but it still remains dry. As the winds are pretty light coming out of the northwest now, and we're looking at mainly clear skies, but there are clouds, even showers far southern tip of Del Mar, but with an area of low pressure that is spinning off the Carolina coast right now, giving much of North Carolina and the Outer Banks some rain. Would be nice if this system was a a little farther north, but that's not the cards for us. The system is going to slide to our south. We're mainly clear. Looking at some maybe lake effect snow flurries in the Lee of the Lakes up in New York right now and cold high pressure back to the west will keep us chilly the next few days. Future cast this morning at 730. We're in the low 40s, low 50s by mid morning by noon into the mid to some upper 50s with a northwest wind by mid afternoon. We're seeing clouds upper 50s to around 60 in Long Neck and Salisbury, but 59 in Georgetown and Millsboro and a little cooler at the beaches, a chilly evening on the way. And then as we go into your Thursday morning, the clouds could increase and we could see the breeze. If that's the case, temperatures are well into the 40s and low 50s. If we don't see the clouds and lighter winds, maybe a touch of frost inland areas. Otherwise, your Thursday afternoon is another chilly one with low 60s and a stiff northerly breeze. And then Friday mornings, another chilly one with temperatures in the 40s and a little warmer to the afternoon with upper 60s and looking chilly for Friday night lights. Those winds pretty breezy out of the northwest over 20 miles per hour times today right through tomorrow and they're coming right out of the north so we're going to be staying chilly as we go into tomorrow the next couple of days but then you see the colors start to warm up start to turn from orange to red friday into the weekend that signals that warm up on the way and it gets even warmer into next week here's your paul day of a seven day forecast lower 60s today and tomorrow maybe a touch of frost again by thursday morning with a low of 39 friday sunshine 67 in fact five sun icons in a row. Pretty rare, so we remain very dry into the weekend. 70 Saturday, 74 Sunday, and then upper 70s Monday and Tuesday with sunshine and overnight lows by that time in the 40s and low 50s.
Thank you, Bob. An activity center for Spanish speaking senior citizens is now open at the Cheer Community Center in Georgetown. Grand opening of Cafe Salud took place Tuesday afternoon. A special event kicked off with a speech from the volunteer director welcoming everyone in. The most excited I am is to see how people are very open to it, um, seeing that it's not only the Hispanics that are coming in, we also have some English speaking that are coming in to see what it's about because I, Georgetown has a huge population. So I feel like everybody is as excited as I am. Cafe Salud will be open on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings from 4 to 8. And a new book titled The First Settler of Lewis has been published by the History Press. It includes 360 years of Lewis's history and through the stories of three families who owned the 4th Street Preserve. Proceeds from that book will support a campaign by the Greater Lewis Foundation to purchase and protect 30 undeveloped acres of 4th Street Forest, which you can see right here on your screen. The time is now 6.50 and we're going to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day right on time for so the holiday. Cute. On your screen, that's Boo, who's a two and a half year old Aussie, loves watching Coast TV for, go. get this, Elisa, not you and I, no. for those important weather updates. Uh, yeah. Boo's a big Bob fan and Boo is uh. <laughs> us by Donna in Bridgeville. And we want to see more of your pets on Delmarva, so send us photos and tell us what makes them so special. All you have to do is take a look at your screen. Yep, scan that QR code at the top to get your furry friend to us here, and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. I don't know. Boo's looking a little sleepy there. Hope he's not falling asleep during my weather cast. <laughs> anyway, clear and chilly in Cambridge right now. A little frosty inland areas. And bundle up out the door. We've got more chilly weather on the way. In fact, a couple of more days, and then it warms up into the weekend, and then even warmer into next week. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Shower glass, our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time, and our reviews prove it. Shower glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for shower glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower glass, it's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore cremation and funeral service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service, serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services, simply respectful. Surface Solutions is rolling across Delmarva, providing the best asphalt and concrete installation for your home or business. Our professional team is transforming the asphalt industry with an impeccable reputation for quality. We guarantee a timely response, unparalleled customer service, and a detailed free estimate in days, not weeks. Call the exterior surface specialists at Surface Solutions and ask about our special financing rates as low as 0%. Call the professionals at Surface Solutions and discover the difference. I needed to do some safe floor. I slipped in my old floor and I broke my kneecap. I called Pinnacle, they came. The team was very professional. And then when I came home two o'clock, my garage was done. That's the best part. I loved it. Pinnacle did a really great job. They did this beautiful floor and safe to walk. Call Pinnacle, you will not be disappointed. You'll be happy like I am. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a prim. The time is now 6.54 and here are the things you need to know before you go. If you're anxiously awaiting your property reassessment results in Sussex County, listen up. The county is providing an update on the project and tentative property assessments will start going out to homeowners starting in mid-November. County officials are urging everyone to review theirs carefully and contact Tyler Technologies if something seems off. 
This is a complicated story, and we have coverage for on CoastTV.com. Two families still recovering after a Tuesday night house fire explosion in Haymarket, Virginia. Here is the fire. You can see the damage to that home after the explosion. It all started when a contractor working on a water main break hit a gas line. There was enough warning to get the families out of the house while gas was leaking. Haymarket is southwest of Washington, D.C. The explosion occurred just after 5.30 last night. Fire crews reported to be on the scene for at least five hours working to get that fire out. No injuries are being reported at this time, but three pets belonging to the families are missing. This morning, Delaware State Police will continue investigating the cause of a school bus crash on Tuesday morning. According to police, it happened at the corner of Savannah Road and West Coates Road. The Lewis Volunteer Fire Company was called out at just 3 a.m., and officials say there were no injuries. After a last-minute pause earlier this month, Rehoboth Beach officials say the long-awaited Rehoboth Avenue repaving project back on. Repaving work was originally paused due to DELDOT budget cuts, but the city says that crews will be working on milling and paving this fall following the annual Sea Witch Festival. DELDOT contractor ADEL currently working on the curbing and concrete on medians along Rehoboth Avenue. When you're on the road and nature calls, there's nothing more important than a clean and functional restroom. This is right out of a Seinfeld episode, Alisa. <laughs> Finally, the search Finally. for America's, we've been waiting, best restroom is over. And the 2024 winner is, come on, I gotta do a drum roll, it's the Maverick Service Station located near Salt Lake City International Airport. This is good information here. The <laughs> online nominations list said that Maverick's restrooms deserve recognition for their commitment to cleanliness and comfort wow. with sparkling fixtures, spacious mm -hmm. stalls, and get this, fresh. Amenities. That's amazing. And it is now 6.56, and we're going to take a look at your forecast before you head out the door. You're just going to stop on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check in with Bob. Bob. <laughs> Fresh amenities, Bob. Uh, I have to drive to Salt Lake City to get to a clean restroom is what you're saying. Say, that's a long way to go. <laughs> Anyway, we're looking at a chilly morning. Some areas inland are seeing a light frost, so leave extra time to warm up the car and scrape the frost off the car. Otherwise, warming into the 50s, close to 60 this afternoon, but feeling much cooler with a northwest breeze. Paul Davis, 10-day forecast. It's chilly the next couple of days with lower 60s, maybe a touch of frost tomorrow morning, 39 degrees. But then we see that gradual warm-up as we go through the week. Lots of sunshine Friday, 67, and we're going to be seeing lots of sunshine a lot because we've got the sun through the weekend 70 Saturday 74 on Sunday still sunny and dry Monday and Tuesday upper 70s warm Wednesday and then it cools down Thursday and Friday but really no rain in sight the next several days thank you Bob and thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News today and the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. and be sure to stick with us for Coast TV midday at 11 a.m. and for more news and coverage you can count on download our Coast TV news and weather apps have a great Wednesday morning, everybody.